वेलकम टू कॉन्फ्लिक न्यूज ट्वेंटी फोर बिफोर हैविंग अ लुक एट हेडलाइंस वी हैव टू अपडेट्स फॉर यू यस डे वी डिस्कस दैट इन ब्राजील बोल्सोनारो लॉस्ट प्रेसिडेंशियल इलेक्शन बट ही वाज साइलेंट ही डिड नॉट से अ वर्ड आफ्टर फोर्टी एट आवर्स हैड पास्ट सिंस द अनाउंसमेंट ऑफ इलेक्शन रिजल्ट and his protesters were blocking uh, main roads uh, he spoke a few minutes ago and he uh, did not concede his defeat but he said that he would respect the constitution so it means that uh, there is going to be peaceful uh, transition of power in brazil lula is uh, now the new president of brazil secondly we talked about uh, declining russian influence in its neighborhood in the last video uploaded uh, last night we said that uh, russia was trying to regain its lost influence uh, uh, in its neighborhood by inviting uh, azerbaijan and armenia uh, because uh, russia mediated a ceasefire uh between the two countries in november 2020 but recently we have seen that eu us have been trying to play the role of peacemaker mediator between azerbaijan and armenia and us eu uh, facilitated some meetings between the two countries uh, azerbaijan and armenia uh, in a european country a few days ago but russia then uh, responded and on 48 hours ago a tripartite agreement was signed in suchi russia with participation of uh, azerbaijani president ilham aliyev uh, armenian pm nikol pashinyan and putin russian president the agreement uh, states that uh, earlier agreements between the two countries will be implemented and a comprehensive peace treaty will be prepared for formalization of ties between the two countries azerbaijan and armenia fought a war in november 2020 uh, not in november but uh, the war ended after 44 day of fighting in november 2020 back then russia played a key role uh, but uh, key role in uh, making the two parties agree to a ceasefire russia deployed its peacekeepers in nagorno karabakh the tripartite agreement announced uh, and signed in suchi a few hours ago there is no mention of nagorno karabakh what is going to be the status of nagorno karabakh uh, will it be part of azerbaijan armenia autonomous region it's not clear but russia has uh, proven that uh, it will not allow any eu us influence in its neighborhood and azerbaijan armenia they agreed to uh, russian invitation and uh, pashian aliyev uh, both were in suchi russia uh, around 24 hours ago now uh, a look at headlines where firstly uh, drc democratic republic of congo where kenya is going to deploy its troops M23 fighters are advancing uh, and today they released a statement too secondly is armenia interested in purchasing iranian drones armenian pm nikol pashinyan visited iran today he was in tehran and thirdly viewers how much support is being given by eu and us to ukraine around 86% of russian military budget is the support which ukraine is receiving we have details for you firstly viewers uh, the democratic republic of congo drc where in eastern part of congo m23 fighters uh, have launched uh, uh, a military offensive they have taken control of some key towns they are advancing towards goma city they are allegedly backed by rwanda uh, congo has expelled rwanda's ambassador and congo has recalled its ambassador from 
uh, Rwanda, uh, tensions are uh, rising on Uganda, uh, Congo, Rwanda, Congo border. Congo is accusing Rwanda of backing M23 fighters and Rwanda accuses uh, Congo of backing a Rwandan opposition group based in Congo. So while M23 fighters are making territorial gains in eastern Congo, Kenya is going to deploy its stops to Congo, to the DRC. Today, it was announced that a regional force, East Africa regional force, of which Kenyan troops are part, uh, will be deployed to Congo. And on Wednesday, uh, a flag handing ceremony will be held in Nairobi, Kenya. In June, in Nairobi, Kenya, East Africa Community Heads of State Conference was held. In that conference, it was agreed that East Africa Regional Force should be deployed to Congo for peace and stability. So it means that uh, Kenya is now going to be. And in top is going to be in eastern Congo. What is going to be a Rwandan response to this Kenyan move? Can this Kenyan move lead to direct confrontation between Kenya and Rwanda? That remains to be seen. And will uh, Kenyan troops fight M23 fighters? Uh, or will M23 fighters? Uh, stop uh, their uh, uh, operations in eastern Congo after uh, KDF's deployment that remains to be seen. Meanwhile, uh, M23 fighters today released a statement. They said that in Rogari from Kibumba, government forces are shelling, they are killing civilians. And M23 said today that uh, it will ensure that guns are silenced, that heavy weapons of uh, Congo's federal forces are silenced, and it will protect its civilians. So uh, M23 is vowing to keep on fighting uh, federal forces, uh, uh, FARDS. Uh, and some Rwandan opposition groups are fighting in eastern Congo to stop the advance of uh, these M23 fighters towards uh, Goma city. Second reports, Armenia is interested in purchasing Iranian combat drones, kamikaze drones. Uh, Armenian PM Nikol Pashian was in Tehran today where he held some meetings with uh, Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi. Mutual trade came under discussion which will be enhanced to 3 billion US dollars per year. But main uh, objective of uh, Pashian's visit is purchase of drones. In 2020, Azerbaijan-Armenia war, Azerbaijan uh, managed to take back its territories, uh, uh, Sushi city, city as well. Back then, the main difference between Azerbaijan and Armenia was the drones, Turkish drones being used by Azerbaijani forces. Israeli drones as well. Azerbaijani forces were using both Turkish and Israeli drones. Armenia did not have quality combat or kamikaze drones back then. Uh, now, uh, Armenia wants to purchase Iranian drones. Iranian drones uh, have proven their uh, effectiveness, their uh, uh, effectiveness in the battlefield in recent weeks because Russia is using these Iranian kamikaze drones against Ukrainian forces and these drones are hurting Ukrainian forces. Ukraine is warning that it would uh, expel all Iranian ambassadors, Iranian diplomats. So uh, Iranian drones are now proving to be battle tested. Armenia is interested and reportedly talks are 
being held in Tehran, though not officially announced, but uh, talks are being held. We could see Iranian drones in Armenia also. Turkey has uh, given drones to uh, Azerbaijan. Iran going to sell drones to uh, Armenia. By the way, uh, Iran is uh, a Shia Muslim country. Muslim country, but uh, people follow Shia school of thought, which is uh, a branch of Muslim school of thought. One branch of Muslim school of thought. Uh, Azerbaijan is also a Shia Muslim country. Armenia, not uh, a Shia uh, Muslim country, not even a Muslim country. Majority of people in Armenia are not Muslims. Uh, but you see that uh, this alliance is not based on religion. Turkey, Azerbaijan alliance is not a religious alliance. Turkey is not a Shia uh, Muslim country. It's a Muslim country, not a Shia Muslim country. Majority of people in Turkey are not Shia Muslims. Iran, Shia Muslims. Azerbaijan, Shia Muslims. But uh, Iran is closer to Armenia than to Azerbaijan. Why? Because Turkey and Azerbaijan are allies. And now uh, Armenia and Iran are trying to create an alliance as well. Lastly, viewers. Uh, West, Western countries, US are uh, helping Ukraine and Ukraine is receiving lots of financial assistance, lots of military assistance from EU and US. Uh, some details have been shared in recent hours by some experts about how much uh, is the budget of Ukraine forces now. And how is the comparison between Ukrainian and Russian military budgets? Now, in 2020, Ukrainian military budget is 86% of Russian military budget. Entire Europe, US are helping Ukraine. They are uh, uh, slashing their defense expenditures. And their defense uh, allocations, uh, allocations of their budget for their military are going to Ukraine. Like uh, some countries, uh, Latvia. Latvia is giving 41% of its military budget to Ukraine. Estonia, 36% of its military budget is going to Ukraine. Lithuania around 16%, Poland around 15%, US around 3.6% of its military budget giving to Ukraine. So Ukraine is receiving lots of money, lots of weapons from Europe and from uh, US. This is not a war between Russia and Ukraine. The war is between Russia and uh, entire Europe and US as well. I think for watching.